One of them should be yes, for Josh. but that's still six tuxes. I don't know why we have seven. Yeah, because it wasn't in the I'm going to grab a ribbon. Ladies and gentlemen, I like to involve the family and friends in the wedding because of all the people the bride and groom know, you are the ones who were invited here today to be part of the first day of the married lives. It's an honor, but it's also a responsibility. And the responsibility is that when they say their wedding vows, wedding vows are nothing more than promises, you are making the same promise to them to be there at the good times, and the sad times. So the good times. Christening's birthday special. I'll take these. Old hands, you didn't marry. <laughs> you met here at the Santa Fe, at the revolver, and you saw each other. Josh was just impressed with your smile. He said it was just amazing. Your job for the rest of your life is to keep that smile on her face. Make her happy. Make her smile when she sees you walk through that door at the end of the day. It was your eyes and kind heart. So both of you saw something physical. Smile at the eyes. Enjoy them. So I ask you now, are you ready to become husband and wife? More than ready. <laughs> Eternity for them to remove every single grain of sand and 
and place it back in the outer vessels as it was before pouring. This is their marriage and their love to last an eternity. Cindy, I want to thank you for allowing me to be part of your special day. Josh, you've been my stepson since 1999. Cindy, I just met you this weekend, but I can tell the way that you two look at each other. There's something special there. You just don't smile at each other. You smile at each other with your eyes. Welcome to the family. Love you both. Cindy's friend on Facebook, did a lot of snooping. I guess that's what parents do. Uh, thank you so much for letting me be part of this day. From the first moment I met Cindy, she made me feel comfortable, made me feel part of her family. Well, now she's part of my family, has actually given me a grandchild. And if anybody knows me, you give me grandchildren, and uh, I'll go to the NC Earth for you. <laughs> So thank you. Um, one thing I've noticed about you two, and it was mentioned during the ceremony that Josh makes Cindy smile. But these two don't just smile with their teeth. These two smile with their eyes. When they look at each other, you can tell they truly love each other. And welcome to my family. I knew I had a sister for life, and I couldn't have been happier. And now I have a brother for life, and I have a little sister. Cindy and Josh, I wish you the best of luck. 
and I know you're going to be great together. I can see by the way you guys look at each other, the way you guys talk, you're perfect. And I wish you the best. Now, should they be nice to each other? No! 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 as much as I love you, nobody's ever made me as happy as you make me. I only wish that I could make you a quarter as happy as you make me. I love you. I love you always. We're going to keep this PG because there's children in the room, correct? Okay. Just making sure. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Josh. All right, so I need all the single fellas. I got one. One. Thank <laughs> you. 